Day on the Net, the organizer of the Rwandan genocide sentenced for life. A Korean actress has been given a suspended sentence of eight months for adultery. And today's highlights. The Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda has sentenced Colonel Teonesta Bagosora to life imprisonment for having organized the genocide of 1994. The web looks back over this tragedy which claimed 800,000 victims. On the tribunal's website, web users could follow the trial which began in 2002. The accusations and the minutes are still available for download. This conviction was expected. This human rights specialist emphasizes that Bagosora was, however, arrested in 1996 and criticizes the slowness of the trial. To avoid an instance of this nature happening again, a channel created by a web user on Daily Motion has compiled dozens of reports which tell of the horror of the genocide. Finally, to help the survivors, this British organization is campaigning online. Their latest project is the building of a center for survivors, which will also give them psychological support. In South Korea, the actress Ok So Ri has been handed a suspended eight-month jail sentence for adultery. Web users are fascinated by this trial. The home video of this press conference is one of the most commented upon on the Korean web. The actress acknowledges she had an affair, but stresses it was the result of a loveless marriage. South Korea remains one of the only non-Muslim countries where adultery is a crime. This American lawyer says that the Constitutional Court had already been faced with the same problems three times, but had not changed the law. Ok so Ri's fourth attempt at reforming the law had failed. This web user denounces the decision made by the justice system. He says it counters the development of Korean society. This blogger agrees and says the law is one-sided. He notes that unfaithful men are rarely subject to such prosecution. This law was, however, created to protect married women. The photographer Richard Rinaldi has published a series of photos on his site called Touching Strangers. As the name implies, he has asked people that have never met before to pose together. He wanted to explore the way in which notions of trust, love and social conventions are expressed through body language. People living in Buenos Aires in Argentina can now report offences directly on the internet, thanks to the technology from Google Maps. They just have to click or telephone for the authorities to make a report on the insecurity map. This tool will allow people to see the risks incurred in each neighborhood. A color code allows you to identify different types of problems.